China just pulled back the curtain on its most iconic nuclear missile, the DF-5, revealing powerful specs for the first time ever. However, behind this bold move lies a surprising truth. China's nuclear triad may appear strong, but it remains dangerously unbalanced. In this video, we're breaking down what this reveal means, where China's strengths and weaknesses lie, and how this growing force is shaping global deterrence. China's public disclosure of the DF-5 intercontinental ballistic missile marks a rare departure from its historically secretive nuclear posture. The DF-5, developed in the 1970s and officially deployed in 1981, has long been a cornerstone of China's strategic arsenal. Now, with state broadcaster CCTV publishing detailed specs for the first time, the global security community is paying close attention. According to the broadcast, the DF-5 is a two-stage, liquid-fueled missile capable of carrying a single nuclear warhead with an explosive yield of 3 to 4 megatons, roughly 200 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. It boasts a striking range of 12,000 kilometers, enabling it to reach nearly any continent. With a launch weight of 183 tons, a length of 32.6 meters, and a diameter of 3.35 meters, it's a massive piece of hardware. It's also accurate within 500 meters, a key factor for strategic targeting. Enter the next generation, the DF-31 and DF-41. These solid-fueled, mobile-launch ICBMs are major advancements over the DF-5. The DF-31A and its upgraded cousin, the DF-31AG, can travel up to 13,200 kilometers and are capable of carrying multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, giving them the ability to strike several locations with a single launch. The DF-31AG, in particular, is designed for road and off-road mobility, enhancing its survivability in any crisis scenario. The most significant leap forward, however, is the DF-41. With an estimated range of 12,000 to 15,000 kilometers, this missile can carry up to 10 MIRVs. It's believed to operate from road, rail, and silo-based platforms, offering unmatched launch versatility in China's current arsenal. It also travels at speeds reported to exceed Mach 25, enabling quicker delivery and complicating interception. These developments come amid a rapid expansion of China's overall land-based deterrent. According to a June 2025 report by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, China now possesses at least 600 nuclear warheads, up from approximately 500 in 2023. The country is also building over 350 new ICBM silos, potentially placing it on track to match the U.S. and Russia in terms of launch infrastructure by 2030. While China's land-based nuclear force is advancing rapidly, its sea-based component, the second leg of the nuclear triad, remains limited in both scope and reliability. Submarine-launched ballistic missiles are traditionally seen as the most survivable form of deterrent. But China's current sea-based platform struggles to meet that standard. China operates six Type 094 nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs. At first glance, this seems like a step toward a credible second strike capability. However, numerous studies, particularly those from the China Maritime Studies Institute, have shown that these submarines are significantly louder than their U.S. and Russian counterparts. Some reports indicate they produce more noise than Soviet-era submarines designed in the 1980s. This acoustic disadvantage makes them easier to detect by advanced anti-submarine warfare systems, especially those deployed by the U.S. Navy in the Pacific. The challenges don't stop with noise. Communication between these subs and their command centers is also a known vulnerability. In order to remain hidden, submarines typically operate under radio silence. But if they need to receive or confirm launch orders, they must surface or transmit signals, moves that increase the risk of detection. With sophisticated surveillance systems blanketing key areas of the Pacific Ocean, even a short burst of communication can compromise a submarine's position. Then there's the issue of missile range. The primary deployed on China's current fleet is the JL-2, which has an estimated maximum range of around 7,200 kilometers. While formidable, this range limits the submarine's operational flexibility. From waters near China's coastline, the JL-2 can reach parts of Asia and the Western Pacific, but not the entire continental U.S. to hit more distant targets. These submarines would need to patrol farther into open waters. 
China has reportedly been testing the JL-3, a longer-range missile intended to correct this problem. With an expected range exceeding 10,000 kilometers, the JL-3 would allow Chinese subs to remain closer to home while still covering global targets. However, this missile is still in the testing phase and has not been fully deployed across the fleet. Among the three components of China's nuclear triad, the air-based leg remains the least developed and the most dependent on future projections. While efforts have been made to revitalize this dimension of strategic deterrence, real-world capabilities are still limited by both technology and legacy platforms. The current backbone of China's airborne nuclear force is the H-6N bomber, an updated version of a Cold War-era design. While it is technically nuclear-capable, its range is limited, and it heavily relies on in-flight refueling to reach intercontinental targets. This dependency introduces operational vulnerabilities, as refueling tankers themselves are visible and difficult to defend in contested environments. While the H-6N can launch air-launched ballistic missiles, there's limited evidence of such a system being fully integrated into regular deployment. Moreover, the H-6N lacks the stealth features that define modern strategic bombers. The H-6N is far more detectable on radar, making it less suitable for penetrating defended airspace. This restricts its deterrence role to more regional missions or symbolic shows of force rather than a reliable strategic delivery system. China's long-term solution appears to rest in the development of the H-20 stealth bomber. Reports suggest the H-20 will offer intercontinental range, low observability, and the capacity to deliver both conventional and nuclear payloads. While anticipated for years, the bomber has yet to make a public debut. Some U.S. intelligence reports suggest it may not become operational until the 2030s due to continued challenges with stealth design, propulsion, and systems integration. Even when the H-20 becomes available, there's uncertainty about whether it can match the technological benchmarks set by its U.S. counterparts. Capabilities such as deep strike, evasion, and standoff launch are difficult to master, and China's experience in long-range stealth aviation remains relatively limited. Until the H-20 is fielded, China's air-based nuclear capability remains mostly notional. The current bomber fleet can carry out limited deterrent patrols, but without the range, stealth, and advanced delivery systems needed for credible global reach. This lack of development creates a lopsided triad, where one leg is advancing quickly while the other two are still finding their footing. China's nuclear triad may appear formidable on paper, but a closer look reveals an unbalanced structure still heavily reliant on land-based missiles. While systems like the DF-41 show impressive progress, limitations in sea and air capabilities expose gaps in survivability and flexibility. The DF-5 disclosure signals confidence, yet it also underscores how much China still leans on ambiguity and perception to sustain deterrence. Until its submarines become stealthier and its bombers more advanced, China's nuclear posture remains uneven. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinus.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.